Hey guys, it's been a while. Matter Life here. Um, got a brand new fish tank uh, I got for a month now, and this is a 40 gallon fish tank I now have. And I basically got some fish in here, especially uh, a glow fish, um, which some people, which you can tell, that is a green electric uh, tetra. And these are uh, black stripe tetras, and as you can see, he's getting along with them. Sometimes he plays around like that, as you can see, they chase around a bit and stuff. And I got these things, and I forget what they're called. Um, I Basically, I look on PetSmart's website, because that's where I got them from. Um, and I know they're not Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey Mouse something. Uh, yeah, I have to, give me a second, I need to look up the name. Okay, so they're called uh, Red Wog Patties. Patty Patties. I I cannot say their name right, but they're but they're but they almost look like uh, the Mickey Mouse Patties or what they're called. But there's a difference. They're red instead of orange. They're darker. The reason I got them is because I like the color red, and red is a beautiful color. And these guys are simply beautiful. I got two males and one female. And uh, so they may breed, probably not. Um, I did the best as I could to clean out this uh, fish tank. As you can see, I couldn't scrub that part out, um, the elegy part. This was a used fish tank I got. And uh, I did much as I can to basically clean it out. I have a hiding space. I have a fish that eats algae. He was right here when I was going to record, but he just disappeared. It's one of those fish that suck around uh, the tank to clean out the algae and stuff, so I, so you don't have to worry about it. If I can find him, he likes to hide or uh, goes around the tank, and I don't see him around the tank. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Um, so I'm gonna, oh, he's right here. Man, you're a good hider. These guys like to, uh, they don't eat fish food like any other fish. They eat, uh, things that, uh, normal fish don't eat, like fish food and stuff. They eat stuff like, stuff like algae, like that. Um, this algae is devolving, um, a bit. It wasn't that bad. Now it's going away because it's it it was dried up for a while. Now it's not, so the algae eater can clean it. I have uh, multiple snails into this tank. Um, there's one right here. I got them from a plant a year a few years ago actually. If I can focus on it, my camera doesn't like to focus, but um, yeah, I got those fish. I got the. The green electric tetra today. I got the uh, red wig petties, and I got the algae eater. I, I forget what their uh, the algae eater I got is called. Um, this is a 40 gallon tank. The reason I know this is because um, even though it doesn't say a 40 gallon, I went to um, a basically pet smart. I saw a 35 gallon tank, and it was smaller than this one, and this was 35. And this one looks like it's a bit bigger, so, well, not like, 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 uh, five gallons more bigger, so this is like a 40 gallon tank and stuff, um, so I put my old wood piece in here, and, uh, from the 10 gallon tank, um, I tried to save this plant, it looks like it's dying, because the light isn't good on this tank, the light isn't the very best. I need to get like a plant that uh, that uh, can survive with low light, and that's going to be hard to find. Um, I got this two decoration skulls that my mom, or two decorations I got from my, what my mom gave me. The reason I put the wood here is because it will help the pH levels and and stuff. Um, what the one the red um. The red wig petty um, fish, they like to hide in the bottom for now because they're new fish. When new, when you get new fish, 
they like to hang around in the bottom first because they're scared they're a little bit shocked so they have to like stay in the bottom and then once they get comfortable they start to go up the the green electric tetra didn't do that though he got excited right away and he started playing with the other tetras in here which is uh which is actually the first thing I've ever seen it means he has like a good um personality for these other people and the reason I got it is because he was the only one left in PetSmart and these guys are expensive like the green electric tetras are like ten dollars each while the while the black stripe tetras are like um let's say five bucks so you're paying five bucks more and these fish are really cool if you get like a light a special kind of light for like nighttime and stuff they glow like they glow in the dark but uh, even without uh, the light they, he he still looks cool i don't know if it's a he or she i'm not good with um the genders of the these tetras but i know that uh these things right here i watched a video on them these guys um i have two males and one female like i said so there's a chance they could breed and stuff um, which may not happen, but it is a possibility. Um, as you can see, they're grouped up together. They're starting exploring the tank now. I feed them. They were, they were heavy eaters. Like, they wouldn't stop, like, eating. They were very, very hungry. <laughs> yeah, I had this tank for a month, so it's already been cycled. I test the pH level. The pH level is fine. Um, um, I have two filters. Um... This filter right here, I don't want to use it. It has a strong flow, and it freaks me out when when I use it. Like, this was a used tank. Like I said, I try to clean it out as much as possible, so instead I use this uh, big uh, sponge filter I have. The sponge filter is really big. I think the sponge filter is for, like, a 60-gallon like a tank, so it, this is overkill, but it does get the job done get the job done um there's a lot of leftovers on the ground like food and stuff i should uh i should have bought some ghost shrimp when i was at PetSmart, but i didn't instead uh i i was in a hurry oh man he's sleep he's swimming the, these guys always look cool to me when i was a kid um the, this guy was like uh five bucks he was like five something Five ninety nine. Oh my God, he's so black that not even the uh... he's not moving. These guys are always chill. They they don't like to move when you tap on the tank, but he but he does like to move around. What are you doing, buddy? I'm just gonna stand there. He he's he's like he's like uh, one of his fins is on the leaf. So he's like chilling right there, freaking hilarious. Um, so yeah, this is right here, a new 40 gallon tank, brand new fish. Um, and I feel amazing, I feel, this feels amazing. Um, if you don't, did not know, um, there's an update, if you guys did not know, as you could sell, tell, um, I had a beta fish at one time, and uh, it died. Um, I tried to save it. I bought medicine for it. Um, his fins were rotting, and I tried to use beta fix, try to get those uh, dry leaves to fix its fins and stuff, and he could not make it. Instead, uh, the last time I saw him, he was his back was broken, his spine was broken, so we, he was swimming very weirdly. So I gave him his last meal, and he passed away. Oh, he's moving now. And he passed away, but the other fish were fine with the tank with him. So, um, I guess beta fish are not good with, uh, with uh, neon tetras. Also, my Neon Tetras died too. When I put them in this tank, they were shocked. Like, they were in a really big shock. 
they were swimming around normally. I was like, okay, they're probably like what these guys are doing. But these guys are doing better than any on Tetras I had. Soon later, um, when I was taking a two hour nap, woke up. One of the Neon Tetras were dead right there. Another one was dead on the ground here. And I think one of them was on top of that. And they all three of them died. So for a past month, I only had these uh, Black Stripe Tetras. Which, uh, these guys are really, really good easy to take care of easier than any on tetras so if you're looking for like a like a great fish to take care of that's not sensitive by transferring to a different tank these are the these are the guys that that don't give a fly about <laughs> fly about uh being in the new tank I'm, I'm trying my best to not to swear because this i forget this is a kid-friendly channel for families and people alike so yeah well this guy this guy's been active he, he's been chill too like he's like oh man new tank meets new food me yummy um so yeah these guys need to get used to the tank oh yeah you can see my computer screen in the back um they, they'll get used to it soon i got them because they're beautiful like i like the red color like it like they look like carp fishes but they're not but, um, yeah, I hope you, uh, um, wait. Okay, so if you're wondering what the red thing is right there, um, on the, on the tube, um, those were from water lettuce, um, because, um, at the time, um, I took my sponge out and I cleaned the hose and it did not go well and the water lettuce was dried up all over the, uh, tube so it left this red nasty uh color which doesn't do anything so yeah pretty upset about that um yeah but i got like a quiet water pump or air pump so it doesn't make a lot of noise and, and it's on the ground like the like the air pump is on the ground like the machine for it but yeah i hope you like this video guys um i'm sorry i've been away for over a year I just haven't had any tips or anything. I'm going to make more though. So yeah, please comment and subscribe. Hope you like this video and have a good one.